rich collection of questions on summation will help you master the techniques. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we have taken a very interesting question based on sigma notation. We'll see how to work with nested summations. The question is to evaluate nested sums. Sigma of i going from 1 to 5 and inside variable sigma summation is of i plus j where j changes from 1 to 4. I like you to pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now to solve such questions, we have to do inside operation first, right? So we can rewrite this as equal to sigma i from 1 to 5 and the inside operation is we have to do both on i plus j, right? So I could apply the properties and write down this as sigma of j from 1 to 4 of i plus sigma of j from 1 to 4 of j. Correct? Now, you could actually open this bracket and do them individually. So, we could now write this as sigma of i from 1 to 5. So, it's distributed property. Right? So, I'm going to multiply this with that first and then that. Correct? So, we get i from 1 to 5 to sigma of i where j changes from 1 to 4 plus sigma i from 1 to 5 where next one is j changes from 1 to 4 for j. Correct? So that becomes the form after we open this bracket. Now let's try to do it. So we'll do the inside operation first. So, we can rewrite this as sigma i from 1 to 5. Now, we need to do sigma j going from 1 to 4 of i. See, i is not changing, right? And 1 to 4 means there are 4 numbers. So, so we get what? We get 4i here, right? And for the next one, it is sigma i goes from 1 to 5, i goes from 1 to 5 and j 1 to 4. So, that is sum of these numbers 1 to 4, right? So, that is like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, correct? So, now we have 4 times i changes from 1 to 5, right? So, 4 times sum of i, which changes from 1 to 5, sum of us 5 numbers, right? Plus, we have sigma i changes from 1 to 5 for this set of numbers, which is when you add them, what do you get? 4 times 5 divided by 2, right? So, I could write this as sigma four times five twenty divided by two is ten, where i changes from one to five, correct? Right. So this was four times i changes from one to five because some of these numbers and five of these that gives us four times sum of first five numbers is five times six. divide by 2 plus 10, 
five times, right? Because this is going to get added five times. So, 50. And that gives us 4 goes 2 times, 10 times 660 plus 50, and then you get 110. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we are going to evaluate the next state sum. So, the idea here is to write them as two different series as we have shown here and then work from inside out. So, when i is operated by sigma where j is changes, in that case it is i which is 4i, right, which you get. But when j is operated when j is changes 4 times, then we are summing 1 to 4 numbers, which is 4 times 5 divided by 2, right, which is 10, correct. So, we can simplify and get our answer. So, I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. <laughs>